everyone good evening i hope everyone is doing great so today we are going to have another uh, topic from the app studio okay or the low code development okay so today's topic is user reference options from the app studio okay so if you see in the last class i created a video related to app studio and local development only where we learned that how we can enable the branch development and today we are going to see this user reference okay so what is the usage of this option says okay before going to that okay let's talk about the use case okay so your use case is let's say you got a story where you need to display all the eligible operator or all the operators who belongs to your applications in a drop down okay either in a drop down or in a auto complete okay so auto complete is you can type in search and drop down where you will see all those values okay so now if you got this requirement and if you don't know that this can be achieved from the app studio what you will be doing okay so you'll be first you'll be uh, if sections is already there then you'll be opening the sections and then trying to add like a drag and drop a control that can be auto complete or user reference okay sorry uh, a drop down or auto complete okay and then you look for the source okay so either you'll configure the report definition as a source or you'll be creating most likely you'll be creating a data page or you'll be trying to find out if any out of the box data page exist already exist so you need to spend this much effort okay open sections obviously like opening sections will not take much time but like you need to Try, like kind of a write a rule or try to find out a rule okay that can be referred as a source okay so that is where it will take most of the times and then you can configure but what if that pega is giving these options okay from the app studio and then you don't have to take care okay of uh, finding out the data page okay that from where the data will come but yeah obviously pega will add that out of the box data page but if required really that like let's say that it is loading all the uh, operator eligible operators but if you don't need it then maybe you need to modify the source but in the first time let's you simply just want to load all the operators who belongs from your applications you can simply uh, load it using this user reference so let's see let's go and see that in real how we can achieve it as I said right that from the dev studio yes you can add a drop down and try to find out a load data okay options and then a source basically source and then you can uh, do it but from the apps to do it is very easy so let's quickly try to configure it so, so let's say here i have a sample applications and then this is the create page on this create page here just after descriptions i want to show all the operators okay which have been referred to or belongs to this loan application okay so let's go to app studio and quickly try to configure it and then after selections of that, that value, whatever the operator ID will be selecting, that should be get stored to somewhere. Okay, so let's click on create and do configure view, add. I'll simply say that user ID, just I'm creating a property. And then here in the source, okay, type. So in type, we are going to select user reference. Okay, and then here you can see that it is asking an options. Are you going with the search box or drop down list? okay so let me show you first drop down and then also how we can modify to search box i'll, I'll show you that as well okay so let's first select drop down and just uh, submit it okay so this instance already exists okay i think i have created it user id instead of say uh, user opid let's say just simply i'll just change the property name opid okay and here you can say that a user ID in description okay so let's add it it's very easy okay the only thing is that we we need to know that this can be achieved from the app studio okay so that is the important things which I'm trying to uh, show you here okay and let's say even if you have to modify the source and if you're a beginner okay or the citizen developer we okay who doesn't know that how to configure a drop down list okay so they can use it from here and then pega will add the code for you and then once you have the code ready you can modify with your need okay so let's just submit it and see that if the user list is coming so now let's save it and try to run it here only and see that that if you are getting that options of drop down See, many of the times okay like i have seen that a junior developer get this kind of requirement and they doesn't know that how to configure but if you are let's say doing from the app studio app studio is doing for you okay you just like kind of a 
navigate through a english language and just app studio will do it okay for you and then later let's see if you want to change the source or want to modify something else you can do it let's see the user id and we got the two user id so uh, basically we are getting two user id okay but both the name is same that is where it's coming like this okay so you can see that it's it's fine now let's see we want to change this okay control so if you want to do it from the do it instead of uh, something happened if, if you want to do it so it's it's a drop down let's say if you want to uh, change to search box how we can do it so let's see that as well so let's again go back to home loan and create configure view and then again here we can change this one see from the drop down we can change it to search box so see how it is easy many of the times people doesn't know especially as i'm saying junior developer citizen with that how we can control uh, change that like auto complete okay because auto complete has little extra options right so how we can do that so let's submit and see that okay and let's save and run click on create see this time we are getting an option see if you see i was talking right so we have both the name is same so admin and admin one so let's say if we want to search with admin one see we are getting an options so to configure this as i'm saying right like it's it's little difficult but now pega has given that so we can go to a dev studio let's say first you did it from the app studio now even if you want to modify the source okay or what source pega have referred or how pega have configured that you can take a look okay so we can open this section not this one let me go back click on go so here we are getting this option so let's see that okay we can open this section and we can see that how pega has configured this auto complete right so see so user id and then here pega have pega have used a database pj operator by application so now let's say that your lead is saying that no this is not sufficient okay you need to, you may be need to refer this a different data page so you can save as this data page you can see that that pega have created and it has a report definitions and it has applications conditions let's say you want you want to put some more conditions based on lob based on other parameters so which you can override this one and quickly do it okay so you don't have to learn from the basic that how we can configure pega is from the app studio it's doing it a little bit more customizations you can do it so i hope this uh, this is a quick and easy uh, thing which you can try okay from the app studio so that's it for today's class okay uh, please do try and let me know if it is helping you okay so thank you thank you very much have a good day bye